Hello there and welcome to Trendy News here from the studios of Atlantic TV. I remain your host, Jeremiah. As usual, I'm here to give you the trendy news in sports, entertainment and business. I'll be right back to give you the news in detail after this short breather. Just stay with us. Welcome back. On to our very first trendy news for the day. Tinebu proposes meeting with APC rep Kakos on presidential bid. National leader of the All Progressive Congress, Ashwaju Bola Tinibu, is to meet with members of the ruling party in the National Assembly next Wednesday over his plans to become president in 2023. Tinibu conveyed an invitation to the APC caucus in a letter written to the President of the Senate, Ahmad Lawa, and Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabi Amila, which they read out on the floor during plenaries on Tuesday. Moving on, Buari Rights Reps request amendment of Electoral Act. President Muhammad Dubari yesterday wrote the House of Representatives seeking amendment to the Electoral Act he recently ascended to. Specifically, the President is requesting that Section 84, Subsection 12 of the Act, which prescribes resignation of appointees of government seeking to run for political office 30 days before the convention of any political party. Moving on, Court Sachs Umahi. Justice Inyang Echo of the Federal High Court in Abuja yesterday opened a new landscape in Nigeria's politics by ordering the governor of Ebonyi State, David Umahi, and his deputy, Dr. Kelechi Igwe, to vacate their office for defecting from the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, to the All Progressive Congress, the APC. Justice Echo said the disposition of the third and fourth defendant, which is Umahi and Igwe, in their counter affidavit were evasive and insufficient to completely challenge the plaintiff organizing progress. All right, moving on to our next story. FG has spent 400 billion naira on second Niger Bridge. This is according to Gambari. The second Niger Bridge, initially built for completion last month, but now rescheduled for October of this year, has cost the federal government about 400 billion naira, in addition to the 10 billion committed to the project by the former administration of President Goodluck Jonathan. Disclosing this yesterday in Asaba, Chief of Staff to the President, Professor Ibrahim Gambari, said contrary to insinuations, the project is being funded 100% by the Nigerian government. Moving on to entertainment news, Timaya left me in pool of blood, hit and run victim breaks silence. Singer Timaya was recently in the news after he was accused of a hit and run incident, which led to police investigation and social media frenzy. Days after the incident, the victim, Oshimubi Damilola, has broken her silence. According to her, the singer, after hitting her on March the 2nd, ran away. According to her, leaving me in my own pool of blood. In a lengthy Instagram post on Tuesday, she added, not only did he drag me on the road where I sustained injuries to my face, my two knees, and my right hand, he ran away, leaving me in my own pool of blood. Moving on to news happening across Africa. U.S. banned Kenyan politician and family over corruption. The U.S. Department of State has banned flamboyant Kenya politician Mark Sanko and his family from traveling to the U.S. over allegation of corruption while in office. Mr. Sanko, who was the governor of Kenya's capital, Nairobi, but was impeached in December of 2020 over charges of abuse of office, gross violation of constitution, gross misconduct, and crime against national law. Mr. Sanko on Tuesday denied the allegation and said he was being targeted wrongly. Moving on to the business scene, CBN increased currency in circulation by 418 billion naira over cash transactions. The currency in circulation rose by 418 billion naira from 2.91 trillion in December of 2020 to 3.33 trillion in December of 2021, according to figures obtained from the Central Bank of Nigeria. The CBN data showed that currency in circulation has increased by 19.0% from 2.44 trillion recorded as of December 2019. The CBN said in its report on currency operation that the growth in CIC reflected the continued dependence of cash in the economy. Moving on, we give you sport news. Nigeria to host first African Beach Soccer Championship. President of the African Beach Soccer Union, Alhaji Mahmoud Adija, confirmed this development in a chat while on radio. He described it as a welcome development for beach soccer in Africa, which shows the progress of the sport in the continent. Thank you so much for joining us on today's episode of Trending News right here from Atlantic TV. You can do well to follow us on all our social media handles now displaying at the bottom of your screen. Before we go, it is important for you to always wear your face mask, wash your hands regularly under running water, and by all means, as usual, 
avoid overcrowded places. Thank you. Until we come your way again next time, do stay safe. Thank you.